think the best way to describe Christopher Ward is really, really good. Now, a lot of people don't want to take that leap and order online without trying the watch on before, but the only bit of advice I can give on that is if you like a design online, go pick one, go buy one, you will not be disappointed. These are brilliant watches. Hi guys, and in the height of summer, we are talking about one of the best summer watches out there, to be honest, and there's no better place to start than that magnificent orange dial. It's not just an orange dial, it's a transparent dial, and it is just gorgeous, completely unique, I would say. I've never seen one before, apart from one of Christopher Ward, and it just, it just really, really cool. It's just an amazing, amazing looking watch, and it's all down to the dial, to be honest. And on top of that, the the uh, case back is also transparent and it's a deep rich orange which I just I love I absolutely think it's a fantastic idea and it looks brilliant there is no denying that this watch is a little bit special for the money now this is a watch that is under 14 mils thick which is a bit thick but when I tell you it is 600 meters water resistance eh? that's right 600 meters that is ridiculous it is a 40 mil watch under a thousand pound and it has got 600 meter water resistance there the only, only other 600 meter water resistance in watch that springs to mind instantly is the amiga planet ocean look online guys they are well over five thousand pounds one of the best things about all christopher ward watches is the bracelet and this one is no different the absolute quality involved in christopher ward bracelets it's a massive factory making the watches what they are. And this one, it's got the looks, it's got the taper, it's got the comfort. Absolutely fantastic. Only thing that I would critique about the bracelet is that it's not screws to change the links. It's a little bit archaic and it's the fact that it's got the pin system. But ultimately, you'll get it changed, you get it fitted, it'll fit you and you'll never have to worry about that again. Now, one of the things on the watch that the action of it, the bezel, is a, is a good nice click it action just what you'd want from a bezel and it's got a stainless steel or aluminium insert which is, is just a metal looking insert which fine but for me i think they've missed a trick and for me i'd really like to see an orange translucent bit of crystal in there i think it'd make the watch stand out a little bit more and i just think it'd give it a little bit of more of a luxurious vibe so for me i'd like to see even if it was a solid orange bezel or an aluminium orange bezel, I just think they've missed a trick making it metal. I don't think it quite goes as well as it could, unfortunately. Now the loom. Oh la la. If you're a loom freak and if you like watches, you prob probably are a loom freak. And this watch has got magnificent loom. Now add to that bluey green tinge on the orange background and you've just got a, oh, what a, perfect perfect mix absolutely glorious so again for a watch under a thousand pounds you are getting magnificent loom and what else can you ask for to be honest this christopher ward watch has got the case i think they call it the light catcher case it is majority brushed to be fair but there is some polished parts on it but ultimately it is an all brushed tool vibe watch so you, you want to go out for a meal great you want to go walking in the woods it can do it all to be honest but it has just got little tints and little signs of polishing which as a, is a light catcher yeah it just slightly attract the light so again the case along with the bracelet along with the water resistance set along with the dial along with the loom everything about this watch so far is a complete winner apart from the bezel. So as I've said, this is a th under a thousand pounds, this watch. It comes in at 970 pounds, which I'm sure you've agreed by now is an utter bargain. 600 meters water resistance, eh? outrageous. It's got a well-renowned, great movement in the Solita SW200-1. The only downside for me, guys, it's only got 38 power reserve, which isn't ideal. On top of that, it is minus to plus 20 seconds per day. Ultimately, that feels like a lot if you've got a cost watch in the collection. Screw down count, which you'd kind of expect. And of course, the Sapphire Crystal, which you would obviously expect on a watch of, of most kinds, to be honest. Even for a couple of hundred quid, you expect Sapphire Crystal. But it's in there and it does look fantastic, doesn't it? Right, guys, the next thing is it's a 40 mil case with a 13.5 mil thickness really good comfort sizable watch it's just almost a sweet spot for most people i would say 47 mil lug to lug which is again really doable 20 mil lugs 
17.5mm taper and on that bracelet it has got the easy link, uh, easy bracelet removal. You just need a pair of fingers which I'm sure most people have got and you just squeeze it in and off it pops and you can swap it out for NATOs or whatever and if you get bored of that it's dead easy to swap back. So yeah, really cool. 20mm clasp and the clasp has got micro adjustment so again the micro adjustment is, I won't say it's out of this world technology wise but a bit of micro adjustment on most watches is a must and this one works really really well the clasp is not that big it's not that cumbersome but it's got great micro adjustment so that is a really great added bonus <laughs> now one of the best features on this watch which unfortunately you will do very little of the time is because it has got that transparent dial is that when you set the time and then set the date you can see the entire date wheel moving round which for me it doesn't affect the watch in any way, shape or form, but just to be able to see the date wheel moving round, I just think it's, you're seeing something almost secretive, almost something unseen in just about every other watch on the planet. So for me, it's a really nice feature that, as I say, it's very rare that you'll get to do, but at least you get to do it maybe once every month. Another thing to take note of on this watch is the hands. Really nice, crisp, legible, especially against the orange dial. And the second hand has got the trident on the reverse side of where it tells the time so for me the counterbalance of the trident and the hands really really nice the loom is crisp is white and again it stands out really really well even during the day against the dial there's not much not to like about this watch guys so for me it's a real real winner surely you must agree if there's anyone out there watching this video that thinks no that watch is not for me i don't like it I'd rather hear those comments today because for me, most Christopher Ward watches are an absolute winner. Great build quality, durable, look fantastic. And the price, that's the best bit of all, guys. These are really well-priced watches. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Is it a winner? Does it go with my jumper? Obviously, that's the main thing that your watch matches your jumper. Right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.